Uh, you're so uh, explosive, man. Say we sure. talked about we talked about the beach, and then you went fucking ham on me. How about what? Right after the beach. <laughs> ocean. Re yeah, the ocean. Remember, like two, the last game. Yeah. So what? No, no, two games ago. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, you went. You went what are you trying to say? Like, do you, do you have like high blood pressure? Like, do you need to to relax? No, uh, I don't know. Do you wanna befriend cats? Like, <laughs> <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about, man. Where's cats? He can't take. Yeah, he's playing Hearthstone on a stream. All right, so, hey, we need some special introductions. One, two. No, no, no. I did. It's, it's time for Kevin in Dutch. What? No, no. In he, Dutch? His Dutch introduction is like it just sounds like ha ha ha. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I want the Spanish one again. Come on. Oh, man, man, man. Come I on, can't, bro. My it was around. good. My mom is around. So no, what? Tell around. her. Tell her you're casting some Starcast. Wait, wait. Your mom's around, so you can't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just want to clarify. Come on, Juanito. You can't. You really can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, can. I love how man uh, just accepted. Uh, all right. All right. I do it. In the part superior. Wait, which one is it? Superior derecha, man. You don't understand? No, no. The right. Okay, okay. Fuck, man. This is so hard. I'm playing Pokemon and I'm doing introduction and casting. Okay. In the, in the parte superior derecha, tenemos a nuestro amigo, nuestro hermano, nuestro señor, Peter Ovo. That was pretty sick, actually. By the way, Cannon Rush. <gasps> oh. He's doing it again. Yeah. I warned you guys about this. Okay, go yeah. again. Go again. Y en la parte inferior izquierda, nuestro, nuestro amigo Pola polaco, Portachón. Liquid mana. He did it on this map against you, Tom? Yeah, this douchebag. Then I flamed him so hard. I was so mad. If you put a gate here, I think it's so hard to hold. But surely Drogo has played against this. But he's not scouting it and going double gas. I don't know, Kev. I'll the dog, Kev. Yeah. Yeah. I'd actually be really so Okay, he's gonna see it right now. That's really important. He's looking for it. Okay, so he can but block he it. Knows. If he pulls yeah. no more probes. Yep. Oh, he's how how, like how did probes. you flame him, Kev? Oh, what the hell? I mean. Oh my god, I think he's gonna lose. I think Mana has already won. What is Drogo doing? He's getting his own forge, but... You need to target down the scanners a bit more. Mana has so much minerals, yeah. actually. Uh, I mean, you can defend with your own forge. That's okay, gonna be tough. Nah. How, how far did you play me, Kevin? I'm not yeah, kidding. if he can start his own cannons, it's gonna, be, it's, it's gonna have to be a clutch hold. Why is he attacking a pylon? He thinks he's a cannon. He killed the probe! Oh, he's gonna yeah, win! He starts Chaos no, no, no. now. Yeah, this okay. is a hold. No, but he starts too. Yeah, that, that's it. Drogo just holds like this. Yeah. He's gonna lose his gate, but he can remake it ASAP. And he, he's gonna have 18 probes. Man, I should cancel that cannon on the low ground. Cancel. I think what? it's really bad he didn't cancel the cannon on the low ground. Yeah. Like, wow, that was sick. That was really sick. I don't think um, Petit Drogo needs his third cannon. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you're yeah. be safe then, sorry, if you hold, you win. Oh, he forgot, forgot to win my gates. Cancel the cannon, cancel the cannon. Yeah, he didn't start a gate, or yeah. he started the core at least. He can make it, he has another pylon. Yeah. He's mining from two gases with no gate but one core. <laughs> Still <laughs> not funny. figured it. Oh wait, is he just thinking about where he can... Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm surprised wait. he didn't cancel two cannons. Yeah, that's... that's yeah, really Drogo should wa march across the map with the Zealot. I think he would survive, right, if he went down the ramp. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It would survive. Mm. Somebody message him. <laughs> there's only one uh, there's only one cannon in range. Are you sure? I think the second one would hit him. No, if he hit, if he like hugs the left side of the ramp, I think he's fine. I almost want to bet on this now to see if like yeah. I think the second cannon would hit him. Alright, resume from replay. I think yeah, yeah, we can we can actually oh, no, that's not so gonna fucking die, dude. You think so? Okay, yeah, bet yeah. then, Ben. Bet ten. Bet. 10 euros. That it dies? Damn. Yeah, yeah. I okay, we die. resume from replay later and Roddy is going to be the one bringing it down. <laughs> Some Roddy Micro. I, 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 Some I, I, Roddy I, I, Micro I, I, might be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I would actually take that bet. Okay, rip. I think I think he doesn't die. No. She again. With, die. with cannons, you never know. Like, sometimes they're bullshit. Like, they will go the extra mile to, like, shoot one the, more. The thing that I'm thinking about here is that with this high ground vision, with this pylon, I think uh, the first cannon gets a really good shot off. 
before no, he even makes take, it to the ramp. But you can take the spider now. See? Nope. Yeah, but that's not what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> well, well, man. Does it really matter? <laughs> well met. Alright, now you gotta see that Zell is gonna run by. Ah, uh, he's just <laughs> gonna shoot it from top, dude. Damn it. Although I really want him to. Now, like, now I'm 100% sure that the Zell would make it past those cannons. Like, I yeah, would bet 100 it. euro. Yeah. Without the pilot, I bet 100 euro that it would survive. Meanwhile, can. we got Phoenix against Phoenix going on. It's so funny, like, you should never say innocently, like, I'm willing, I, I would bet on this if Rod is around. Because you're sure that you're going to have to bet on this okay. if you say something like that. How is the sport betting going, Kev? Mm, I'm not doing it too much in the moment. Some rough what weeks. And now we just what games you bet on? Like, what sport? Uh, Pretty much Every everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Which sport am I not betting on right now, Asia? <laughs> uh, I bet on the American playoffs like NBA, NHL, and then a little bit of football. But the European leagues are bullshit to bet on right now because most competitions are done already. So it's like the results are very random. Freaking Paris so yesterday won the French league yeah. once again. They won like three titles this year. The rich man. I was telling my friends, jo my friend, jokingly, like it, enough is enough. Like they keep on winning every season. Like we need to region lock that shit. <laughs> <laughs> enough is enough. Yeah, man. Is man a fuck this game? Yeah, yeah. Unless, uh, unless Drogo goes full throw. Like, I mean, it's only... I oh, know, never mind, I thought it was one Phoenix difference, but it's actually two, uh, it's two, two which yeah. is massive. Oh, is he he's even gonna catch oh, him? Oh, oh, oh. oh no! That's, a, that's like the bad reflex you pull back here. Oh, if he can catch okay, the one that's coming actually, out... Oh, oh man, this would be a moment to fight. Five against five. And one of the Phoenixes is already low on HP for my Petit uh, Drogo. Now it's six against five. Yeah, Mana is actually expanding faster somehow. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's anybody's game. I mean, small advantage for uh, T Drogo, but it's not a hundred percent over. I think. Wait, his name is Pit Drogo or Tit Drogo? Tit Drogo. <laughs> the P is silent. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just T Drogo. Yeah, you said it right this time, actually. T Drogo. Ye, yeah, dude, fucking nailed that shit. You're good at languages, not like Apollo. Yeah, Drogo. Uh, well, he's Welsh, dude. Oh, this is not a good move. From the valley. Okay, now it's fine. Oh, who's winning? Oh. Nobody knows. Seven phoenixes for Drogo. Oh wow, he went back with this one. That was a bit weird. Hey, he's it's actually bringing units. Hey, if, the, if, the, if the Nexus finishes with the photo number charging that cannon, he might do it, no? He might be able to do it. <laughs> and a few warpings, maybe he can warp in some units. I like that he made a cannon. I can't believe Banna is like so eager to move out when he knows like he probably has less phoenixes. Yeah. I would just sit in my base and complain about the matchup. Yeah. Alright, okay, guys, you can't really <laughs> oh, recover from there. <laughs> this is I also think it's crazy that Petit Drogo wants to attack so badly. I think he should just expand and try to pick off a Phoenix here and there, but I think by attacking, he has a chance to lose it. I mean, he's not really that ahead, to be honest. He's up two Phoenixes. Uh, he's, he's ahead of Phoenixes and that means the world because it's almost impossible to catch up. Yeah, but like if you fight against your opponent's stalkers and he has more and, and photon of a charge then and he targets well, you can... Uh, Guardian so Shield is the most important thing. I think if Mana can fight with his Phoenixes in range of Guardian Shield, I think that's the way that he's going to win. But I think Petit Drogo should just back off. Like he's building pros behind this. I think he's yeah. just faking the aggression. Yeah, actually he forced uh, some stalkers, some extra stalkers. I can kill a, yeah. can kill a Phoenix there. Phoenix. Um, so when is it worth making a fleet beacon for the range upgrade if you're gonna get it? Like you, you need at least three gases, probably four. I would say at the moment you have your four gas. Yeah. Like some people prefer going two stargate before fleet beacon, and some people go one gate uh, fleet beacon. I think two stargate into fleet beacon is better. Yeah, it's safer. Like yeah, if you go one stargate into fleet beacon, and then somehow your opponent, you know, is very, is, if he's a very good player, he's flying around and he sees that you have less phoenix, he's gonna punish yeah. you for it. He's gonna fly in there, start getting probes. You can hey, use photon of charge. You can't chase him because he has more phoenixes. Is he going Drogo for um, yeah, yeah, a charge like Archon or something? 
Yeah, yeah. You can transition. Like this is the transition you need if you want to transition. And I guess we did. Mike, Mike, get us a good start. Yeah, man has no idea. Yet. <coughs> He's gonna see it with this hallucination, maybe. Uh, can he? I don't know. Where? Oh no! What the hell? Look at that hidden base here. Nice. He's gonna get killed by the cannon and stalkers before he can get there. That's a pretty bad hallucination, actually. You should always look to like send it around. Okay. Oh, he diverted, but too late. So it really sucks that he can that he can see. I don't think you can get good feedbacks though against these mini phoenixes if they come in, because then you lose the templars usually. It's almost impossible to feedback than make an archon on time. Well, you want to um, feedback? You want to use make archons? Yeah, yeah, you make archons, I think. So, like in this situation now, um, what would be best for mana to do? Like, if he realized that he was up against this tech switch, what would I think he, he must. Uh, you need to pick a fight. Almost immediately, and then yeah. you just start lifting up probes for the next three minutes. But and he then must he have realized to himself. because he's going twilight and he's whopping the stalkers. So I think he knows. Okay. So what you should do, maybe, if you're mana right now, like he's still ahead in phoenixes, right? He should just lift his own stalkers up over and over again, and then lose all his energy, and then pick a fight with the phoenixes. Because if he flies right now, he's going to get feedback, and he will lose everything. There is yes in one hour, by the way, from now. So it was a smart move of uh, T. Drogo to make uh, so many cannons and stuff, yeah? I mean, he already had the, he already had the cannons, right? Yeah, yeah. He had two of them, and then he produced two more. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what you have to do if you want to switch out of Phoenixes, but... I, I guess it's tricky for Mana, because it was really hard for him to scout, because he was the one that was behind, and he was lower on Phoenixes. So it's very easy for us to say, like, oh, well, he should have been, like, scouting this immediately and do something about it, but it's almost um, impossible for him. Because well, normally one, you don't fly out with less phoenixes. One thing that Mana did really smart though, like I don't know if he saw it, but he cancelled his second Stargate. So yeah, yeah, he cancelled. He, he, he identified somehow what he was up against. Um, so maybe like by not receiving all the information was enough for him to kind of go, ah, okay, like this. If, if I was against like an air war, then I would have seen X, Y, and Z, but he didn't. The problem is now it's three bases against two. Uh, oh, yes, being two. One Phoenix. Minus one. Okay. Plus two is gonna finish now too for Drogo. Oh, I guess like this is this seems pretty over. Like at this point, Drogo can only make stalkers and then do land attack and finish it. Mm. I can kind of hear myself. Uh, yeah, someone watching the TV, man. Who is it? Uh, might be here. I will ask to lower the volume. Of course, you got to be there. Fuck you, there. I think mm -hmm. it was here. I asked to lower the volume. I might just it was cool. I'm, e I'm eating. Are you eating bacon and yep. uh, eggs? Yeah, and eggs. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. What are you are. eating? Uh, whole wheat, uh, spaghetti, uh, zucchini, celery, onions, and uh, chicken. So basically, wow. bacon and eggs. No, not at all. <laughs> are you um, are you focusing on dieting and stuff now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I nice. work out too. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's fun. Well, what's your workout uh, routine? Walk ten minutes. Um, remember that? What? <laughs> you remember what? when? Well, Anita, why are you teasing Desro? You, you, no, you, no, 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 because you, he, he did you it could use a workout as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he did it before. Juanito never, Juanito never program. like pretended he walked out. Desro kind of did before. <laughs> tell, 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 yeah. tell. He pretended to work out, then he would eat cake. Yeah, yeah. Desro, Desro went to work out. I worked oh, out and eat cake because I was stupid. But Desro went to walk for like 20 minutes, and then after this, going out of the gym, he's like, "Hey, let's get uh, like pancakes and shit." Like some, there was this, some place called Cafe Bene in Korea. It's like all desserts, like waffles with syrup and shit. Like really, like a lot of calories. And every time we get out of the gym, he's like, "Hey, let's go there. Let's get a muffin or whatever." <laughs> Every time he's like, "Hey, it's okay. I walked out." I was like, "Man, what the hell? You burnt like one, less than 100 calories. You want to eat like 600? It doesn't make sense." Yeah. Well, we, you remember I, me I was stupid. Like, thought when when I kept buying these like banana milkshakes and yeah, I brought you, them. You're the you. sickest. Dude, they are amazing. <laughs> Roddy actually did cardio with like a banana smoothie, like on this fucking like in the cardio spot where you put your drink. And people in Korea were looking at him like, "What the fuck? Like this? There must be hidden cameras somewhere here." Because <laughs> this can't be for real. So I think man is dead? Stay safe too soon? It's gonna be hard to hold. Uh, like he lost his mother's core while you guys were talking about like the 10 minute walk. 
There was a forward blink that killed the Monishim Core. Imagine if he has Foden Overcharge and a Time Warp here. Then I think Mana holds easily. Now he still I'm might hold. But he actually has Charge on the way. If he can get that, maybe a little too help. But the, the Archon counts. He's a little bit behind. <coughs> too less. Oh, he's moving up. Where's Mana Phoenixes? What happened? I don't know why... Uh, uh, he, he, he killed all the probes on yeah. the other side of the map. He if Drogo, if Drogo attacked that base and then just picked up Zealots one by one and sniped them, he would snipe them so fast, and then without Zealots at the front, Archons will die and then Stalkers too. So I think Drogo will still win, but if he had done that, he would have won much faster. Mana's been holding oh, really oh, well, though. Like, he's back. had yeah. inferior upgrades and uh, a smaller army and stuff, but his positioning's been uh, a lot better. Yeah, it's, it's 11 gates, by the way, for Drogo. 9 for Mana. That's why he's getting oh, uh, uh, produced uh, heavily as well. I can't believe well, he has so much more uh, workers, but he can't produce him. Yeah. That was a weird blink. Yeah, in terms of army uh, supply, like it was like 40 ahead for Drogo at the start of this fight, so he's going to be able to pick up, I think, the rest. And yeah, nice. GG. Drogo. So, so, seems like Mana's prediction wasn't right at all. He said 3-0. What did Drogo say? He said 3-1.